coconut vanilla hope and guess what arrived this is the hair that i accidentally cut off here comes my second personality trait coming out girl all under the pits girl what's good you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog as you guys can see my hair is wrecked. I have been putting off detangling and fully washing my hair and I think it's finally catching up to me. I literally did not do my hair at all today. I just put it in a bun. I've been editing a couple of videos today. This is a vlog. And then I also have a makeup collection coming where I'm like showing you guys my organization. I am going to be giving you guys my curly hair routine as it stands today. I am not an expert in literally any way. I I did a big chop a couple of years ago and I literally have no idea what I'm doing. The only reason why I chopped my hair off to begin with is because it was extremely damaged, but I really need to detangle it. I honestly barely use any products in my hair. Enough talking, we need to fix this because this right here is not my swag. This is this is not cute. Let me show you the products that I use and then I'm gonna go hop in the shower. So this is what I've been using. 99% of the time for when I actually don't want to wash my hair completely, which is most of the time. When I get in the shower and I'm ready to go and I'm just gonna like style my hair wet because that's every time I style my hair it's wet. I always go for this if my hair is just being unmanageable and I love it. This is like my holy grail. This is what's been working for me since I cut my hair off. I honestly am just too impatient to use like a real deep conditioner because I have one. I have a couple, I think. I have a natural hairdresser and I also have a hairdresser that does like my blowouts, trims, stuff like that. They both say I have a pretty healthy head of hair. They never really talk about any damage that I have. So I know that my hair is growing nice and healthy, but I'm always open to suggestions because I know this probably isn't like the 100% way to be doing things, but this is what I do and this is what I'm gonna do today. So I always use this. I never leave it in for three minutes. It's always longer than that. Depending on how my hair pattern is developing, I initially, when I did the big chop, I was using this, then my hair kind of became intolerant to it. So I stopped using it for a while. I brought it back and my hair seems to like it again. It's supposed to be for very dry, curly to coily hair, which my hair is a thousand percent coily. Um, it's not really dry, but I just like using dry products because it always moisturizes. So that's what I have for that. And those are the two products I'm going to actually use in the shower. Once I hop out the shower, I go into this bottom drawer. This, this right here, I cannot detangle my hair without this. Like this is something that is like do or die, I need this. So this, I don't know if this is ever gonna go out of my curly hair routine unless I find a detangler that's better because this is a very reasonable price and a lot of people always take it. Anytime I go to Walmart or Target, it's gone. So when I see it, I always grab like 50 of them. Those are all my hair products. Now let's get cooking because this ain't gonna clean itself. I'm gonna do probably three rounds of washing and then a condition and then I'll come back to the tangle. Okay you guys, I just got dressed and I just realized just now that I forgot to rinse out my three minute miracle it's giving 20 minute miracle okay let me rinse it out and i'll be right back okay you guys <laughs> this is what the hair is looking like right now absolutely everywhere this is what my natural curl pattern looks like and i still need to dry it i know people that are part of the curly hair community are screaming right now because i see a lot of people saying that you should use a t-shirt to dry your hair instead of a towel but honestly i just always use a towel this is just giving lazy girl curly hair i'm so sorry i'm issuing my apology right now because this is just what i do i think i did one curly hair routine video when my hair was like probably this long um and it wasn't very good and this one isn't going to be that much better if i'm being 100 percent honest but I just wanted to film it because I had to do it anyway and whenever I tell myself I need to film something I always end up getting it done. So you guys are holding me accountable, making me be more productive. Okay, so if you can see that, this is the hair that I accidentally cut off when I was getting <laughs> my faux locks out. I thought it was the fake hair. It was not. <laughs> okay, so I actually wanted to show you guys kind of like a mini shower routine and show you guys what I use in the shower as well. So in the shower, I actually use this. This is called, I think it's pronounced Gangnam. This is moisturizing body wash with shea and cocoa butter. 
I love this scent. My junior year roommate, when we lived in a dorm room, she was using this in our shared shower, and I always loved the way that it smelled, but I never bought it until like a year or two later. And I love this scent. It smells extremely fresh and clean. This is my go-to for intimate washing. I love Baby Dove. Um, Michaela Wegner put me on per usual. I went to Panera Bread again today, so I had to get a green tea. I have to get the passion green tea every single time I go or else did I even go you know what I mean but yeah Michaela Wagner put me on um I also use the not Dr. Teal's I forgot what it's called Dr. Bronner's the unscented baby soap I use that as well but I ran out so I've been using this but I definitely love baby dove as an alternative just any baby soap in general in conjunction with like whatever feminine wash I'm using sometimes I switch them out but the one thing that doesn't get switched out is I always use a baby soap before using the other feminine wash I also use scrubs when I get my waxes this is the one that I've been using for a year or two it's the tree hub bohemian escape shea sugar scrub but it's almost out and they don't really sell this one a lot this is the turmeric one I haven't really seen it I see like all of their other ones this is another one that I really love but I didn't use it today because I figured the smells will kind of clash this is coco colada I am a coconut hoe I'm a coconut vanilla hoe and one thing that's slowly becoming my ride or die for anybody that gets waxes I have not tried laser hair removal yet because I'm scared and also broke so <laughs> if you're like me and don't feel like shaving down there but also don't have enough money to be experimenting with laser I really do love waxing it is pricey but I do think that it's worth it and when you get waxes you kind of learn throughout the process of what works and what doesn't. I used to use these wipes and they literally don't work at all. So now my go-to for not getting any ingrown hairs is using that scrub. And this is becoming a fave. This is the Truly Kuka Oil. This, this is just so good. It's everything you want. When the hair grows back, it's like minimal discomfort. It just, it's just everything. I love it. And I know that my girls out there that get waxes they be gatekeeping they be gatekeeping their products and i'm trying to i'm trying to spread the love because listen we all need a little some some okay and this has been working for me i got this on a whim i have never heard anybody talk about it it has lavender tea tree jojoba primrose and antimicrobial boost so yeah i just got out the shower i'm about to hit my hair with some spray and some miracle curls i'm gonna split my hair probably into fours and get it crack a lacking. What's up you guys i just woke up it is 11:03. this is early for me especially because i have a day off today i'm actually even surprised that i'm up right now i actually got up at like 10 30 looked at my email and guess what arrived i'm so excited i actually placed two gymshark orders but this is the one with the majority of my things in it i was actually looking for any reason to not go to the gym today but now i have no excuse the first thing i see is the sherpa jacket i have 
have my Sherpa jacket. I have this jacket. It's by the brand I Am Gia and I've had it for about a year or two or three. I've had it for a minute. So I just wanted like a mini version of that that I could wear to the gym over top of my sets and I love this. Ooh. This is, I think the What The Flex bra. Yes, this looks so good. By the way, if you guys are curious, I am going to be doing a try on haul of everything I get from Gymshark on my fitness Instagram. So if you wanna follow me on there, go ahead. But this is the front and this is the back. This is really stretchy material. I was really, I've been like anxious about this material and I have a couple of vital sets in here that I'm really anxious about seeing if they're stretchy because if I remember correctly, I got a pair of vital shorts a couple of years ago and they were so tight, like ridiculously tight. I feel like it's Christmas. Black camo leggings. I love these leggings so much. This is the, um, black version of the green ones that I've worn out on my socials. These are the maroon camo leggings. Same thing. It also has a little butt scrunch on the back. I've never actually utilized that to see if it would work or not because my butt is already pretty big <laughs> without utilizing the scrunch, but I definitely will try it out now that I have more than one pair. This is so exciting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this is the baby pink vital. This is definitely a different material than what I remember. I'm definitely gonna have to try out the leggings. Low key looks like the extra large might be my size, which I was really nervous about when I was ordering online. My crop tops, I like them to do like kind of like compression thing to make my arms like kind of sucked in because my arms are one of my biggest insecurities right now. The last couple years of my life really has done a number on my arms. So I'm really excited to have like kind of like a <gasps> the blue, the blue, the blue. Vital seamless shirts. Oh my God, same stretchiness. This is gonna look so good in the gym. Oh, these are the What The Flex, the set that I got. Probably the leggings, yeah. Ooh, I can definitely tell that this band is more compressive than the camo, and I'm really excited about that because I want to be sucked in, girl. I want to look so niche. It's giving like Trinity at the gym, okay? This is some shit that Trinity would wear. <laughs> This is the What The Flex shirt. Oh, it's not a shirt, it's a shrug. I was about to say, this is really tiny. This is the burgundy camo shirt. Ooh, it feels so good, so stretchy. This one is a little bit thicker than the Vital and it has a keyhole back. And this is an XL, it actually has a scrunch in the front so I wonder how that's gonna work for the girls. But this is what the shirt looks like. So and I love that I'm doing this because I did notice that literally every single video that I was watching was from a Gymshark athlete and they were sponsored. So I want to give like my unsponsored opinion. I have like lusted after Gymshark forever. I've always wanted to try out their stuff. I just never had the money to like just be bawling out on gym clothes and also not the motivation to really go to the gym. But now that I have all these pieces, I'm not even done. I am going to go to the gym after I film this. Like I need to go. This is actually the cyborg. I'm upset they don't have any leggings in this print they only have cycling shorts my confidence level is just not there for the shorts right now maybe in a couple of months but that's just one thing that i really hate working out in is shorts this is the blue this is the first pair of vital leggings that i'm touching and i'm really scared okay <laughs> these are definitely thicker than the camo leggings but they still don't feel as thick as i thought they did because i do have a pair of vital shorts i don't think they're here but i did maybe i gave them away because <laughs> i hated them it was not giving this stretch at least it feels like i have like a little bit of like wiggle room breathability but this band oh i can feel it right now it's gonna suck me right in it's not gonna move this is a flex not the what the flex but just the regular flex crop top oh wow it says keep away from fire will do i saw a lot of reviews on this saying that it was too thick, they got too hot. I don't mind if I sweat more. I used to mind it a lot and it used to be like an insecurity of mine having like pit stains, back stains. Um, but now I just don't even care. And we can thank Leanna Deep for that, okay? Because she is, she is that bitch. She works out in long sleeves all the time, sweaters, and she sweats and it looks good, okay? Sweat is sexy. This honestly feels just as stretchy as the Vital. I guess I won't really know until I work out in either one and kind of do a comparison. But as far as I can tell, they have a couple of ventilation holes in here. Like it doesn't seem like the end of the world. This is the black camo from the beginning. This is just the matching top. I got everything matching um, because I just never had like a lot of matching sets and I'm really excited. The Flex gray leggings. These are 
so stretchy and they have contours i don't know if you could tell but they have contours along the side and then the back of them is literally contoured right under your ass i am excited to wear these these are the leggings in vital seamless in that bubblegum pink color haven't seen anybody wear these out but I just love the way they look on the model. They look so good. And this is definitely, I can tell just by looking at them, that this is definitely a color that I'm gonna have to wear on a cardio day. My camera battery died, so sorry if the video is a little bit shifted. But as I was saying, I'm probably going to have to wear this on a cardio day. It's just a light color and it's just not giving me squat proof material. And then this is finally the last thing. This is the Cyborg. I think it's the bra. Yes, the sports bra. This is the same print as the crop top I showed you guys earlier. I just figured maybe during the summer, if I don't want to wear that whole thing, I'll just wear this. That is everything in this first order, this first package from Gymshark. I even have another one coming and I might place a third order because that's how obsessed I am. I'm gonna try all these on, film a little vid for it on my gym Instagram. Definitely go follow me on there. It's kind of like just my health and gym diary. I'm not perfect. I just film everything that I'm going through, anything to do with fitness, it's on that account. But the more I work out, the more sets I'm going to want to have. So I definitely want more sets. So if you guys have any recommendations that are good, definitely let me know. I've been seeing a lot of videos on Alphalete. I have no idea what that is. I just found out about them a couple of days ago. Definitely don't know a lot about them. Not enough to know whether I would like them or not. I would need to watch a couple more reviews, but this one girl that I watch um, she basically just reviews gym clothes so I'm going to be watching her because I trust her opinion a lot I got a lot of my opinions and recommendations from her video I'm gonna see what her name is because I totally forgot I'm gonna look her up Ashley Gata that's her name Ashley Gata I watched like so many of her Gymshark videos even though she is a Gymshark athlete and it was sponsored she was 100% real in that video and I'm gonna try them on to see if she was right about everything but I am so excited. That was the best start to my day. I thought that my package wasn't gonna get here till later tonight, but when I checked my email, it was like, look outside your door, sis. I'm gonna try all this on and probably edit for a little bit and hit the gym. Okay, you guys, it's been a couple of hours and now it is currently 3.11 and I think I'm gonna take my ass to the gym in one of my new fits. I've been debating whether I'm just gonna take this week to not do anything, but I kind of took the last week to not do anything. I've kind of been slacking on myself and not really showing up for myself for the past couple of weeks, so it's time to get back on that. And I think it's nice that I can finally like understand and recognize when I'm doing that and when I'm not doing that. I was gonna take this week to not do anything physically, even though I didn't go to the gym last week, you know, I'm still running around working, but I decided we're not doing that. I look too good to not go to the gym right now. So this is the flex set that I just filmed. This is what the back is looking like. And then I also have these shoes. These are like knockoff off-white shoes from Amazon. I'm pretty sure that's the brand that they're trying to knock off, but they are so cute. I'm going in again with the same gym scent that I had in my Sunday reset video. This is like halfway done already. Mary Pink Mist. It's basically just a fruity scent. Anything fruity or fresh to the gym is definitely a yes from me. Especially when you're sweating, you want to smell good. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this all under the pits, girl. I literally spray this everywhere, all down my outfit. I do not play around when it comes to Bodies Mist. And I have this bag that I used the other day. I ended up going out with my family. We ended up seeing Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever was such a good movie. I'm not gonna give you guys any spoilers, but it was so good. I used this purse. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out because I don't bring a whole purse to the gym. Normally, I just carry around my wristlet. Isn't this so cute? This is my little Hello Kitty AirPods case. 99% of the time, unless I lose my AirPods or I wanna use my Beats, I use my AirPods and I just decided to attach them to my keys because I always use them everywhere I go. I don't like going anywhere in public without my AirPods. And I'm gonna take these, but I'm also gonna put them in my eyes. These are just regular Visine Hydrating Comfort Red Eye Eye Drops. My Shoujin Syndrome, if you guys are new here or if you do not know, here comes my second personality trait coming out, girl. I have an autoimmune disease called sarcoidosis and I also have like kind of like a conjunction thing going on. It's called Shoujin Syndrome and it has a lot of um, <laughs> effects on what could happen in the future for me. But as far as right now, the thing that it's bothering me the most with is my eyes. My eyes have been so dry and I used to have like specific eye drops that I used for my sarcoidosis, but it's making it worse. 
so my eye doctor told me to stop using them and just use regular eye drops so that's what I'm doing my eyes have kind of been annoying me um, a couple of times in the past videos that I filmed I keep cutting it out but I keep like rubbing my eyes like this in the middle of every time I'm talking so I'm gonna put this in my eye I actually literally hate eye drops so much I hate them and it's funny that everything I hate now I have to do all the time. Like, I don't necessarily love needles, but I shoot myself in the leg all the time. I hate pills, and I take pills all the time. But this, like, hydrating comfort stuff really does help. It's not going to cure anything because my eyes are always going to go into phases where they're drier than others. It's helping. So I'm going to bring them to the gym just in case I have, like, a flare-up or something. Because the worst possible thing <laughs> would be having pain in my eyes and my body. That just sounds like a nightmare. Um, and I've been there, trust me, so it's just, it's not a good look. Um, okay, I'm like low-key doing a wall sit right now, let's go to the gym. <laughs> I just got this smoothie. This smoothie is from Smoothie King. I think I got the Slim and Trim in the strawberry. The girl did warn me that it's gonna taste a little bit chalky, which it does, cause it does have protein in it, but it's not the end of the world. It's doable. I have a whole playlist on my phone that has like workout videos from years ago. But the one thing that I use all of the time is this video right here. As you guys can see, I'm literally in the middle of it right now because I play it almost every single time I finish working out when I remember. And it is this video by Mad Fit, five minute full body stretch and cool down from when you come back from the gym. Because honestly, I'm too lazy to actually do like a full stretch before and after. It's very rare that I do any stretching before and honestly I forget a lot of the times after I leave but I did a lot of arm stuff today and I did like 20 minutes of cardio it's time for a stretch I should be stretching every single time like the time frame and the amount of exercise that you do really doesn't matter you should be stretching every single time but I never do Woo, feel that Okay, you guys, I finished my stretches. I feel 10 times better, a little bit looser. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me in the ass tomorrow morning. But I feel so much better now that I went to the gym. It's been a little minute, so I'm glad to be back. And the good thing I love about my Gymstagram, I call it, is that it keeps me accountable. And I'm really thankful for you guys for watching this video. I'm really enjoying vlogging. I know I keep saying that at the end of every vlog, but I really do love it. And I'm really, Happy that I got all these gym sets. I felt 10 times better working out in the gym today. Even though the little bit of social anxiety got me towards the end, I definitely did not want to record myself on the treadmill like I did in my Sunday reset video because there was just way too many people around that area of the gym and it was just a no-go for me. So I have a couple of clips. I was doing a lot. I was trying to get two angles and two sets of footage at once while I was there, one for the vlog and one for my gym Instagram because I do like to do little reels whenever I go to the gym or pictures or anything like that whatever I'm feeling comfortable with, whatever day I go. There's like a medium amount of people that were in the gym, so I felt like okay doing certain things, but anywhere near cardio and free weights is where things get crazy. Um, I still haven't become like confident enough to go just in the free weight section and just shoot to shit. Like I don't really know what I'm doing. So I just stick to like the actual machines that I have to use. 
um, because there's directions, you can scan it, you know what you're doing. So I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.